G'day guys, it's another trip. We're back up in the high country. It's been a while. Yeah, we've got a big crew this time. We got Dave and Ernie in the Hilux. We got Richard again in his 200 series. We got Dad and I in the Discovery. We've got, well, around the corner, Dave and Christopher in their Prado. And then we've got another guy, a new, another guy Richard's son Jack, in his V8 Patrol. Pretty nice. Yeah, it should be a good trip. It took us a while to get here. We sort of mucked, well, mucked around a bit. Bernard in his blue Hilux, he's on his way down. He, yeah, he led the, uh, led the group in a bit of a stray. But yeah, it should be good. Yeah, we'll get the fire set up and we'll set up camp. We're not far from Dargo. So yeah, we've got the river down there should be good. It's supposed to rain a bit tonight, I'm not sure. We'll have to see how that goes. So we've just woken up this morning, it's the next day, I'm not exactly sure where we're going to go today, but yeah, last night we had some pretty heavy downpours of rain, sort of not long after we went to bed, it rained for at least four hours or more, it didn't get overly cold, only down to like 10 degrees may have gotten colder but I didn't check then but yeah so hopefully today is going to be good I'm not too sure the main plan but yeah hopefully we'll get up and do some good tracks yeah so the campsite here was good I realised we have camped here before but that was quite some time ago. So how'd your tent go, Luke? Luke? <laughs> I hope not. So we've finished packing up now, uh, we're going to head off soon, uh, Jack and Samuel and Ernie and David, they're all packing up and going home today, they're not going to be staying with us for the duration of the trip, which is a shame, we would have liked to have seen how the patrols had go, but that's okay. So yeah, the rest of us will get on the tracks and get going. So yeah. 
Today should be good, we should find some good tracks and we should have some fun. Hopefully it's not too bad, though it's rained. But yeah, we should be alright. So we've had a bit of a problem here. We've come down this, I think it's called Dawson City track. We're trying to get to the Haunted Stream, but we may not be able to, I don't know. Richard is just going up this back of this hill as we've come down. I'm still in the car because it's really quite wet and I don't really want to take the camera out, but I might. Might have to use a yeah, I think we're going to be winching Richard back out. We m might be able to turn the discovery around and right foot up the hill from there. Yeah, so I don't really know what's going to happen. Yeah, Dave's winching Richard out backwards. He's working slowly, but just the weight on Richard's car is making it pretty tricky. So they've decided to hand winch the Discovery around so we can come up this hill. That might take a bit longer, or we're not sure, but I'll have to see what they can do to get it back up the hill. So they've got the Discovery around. Now we've got to see if we can get it up the hill. Hopefully we can. The Discovery has gotten as far as it can up the hill, so we're going to winch him up the top with um, Richard's car and we'll see what we can do. It shouldn't be too hard from here. It should be alright. Yeah, and we'll see what happens after that. Too good. Yeah, 
So we got the winch going on Richard's car finally. We're yeah. using the um, hand piece. The electric doesn't want to work. I think we should be able to get it out. I don't know. So we've just stopped at this spot for lunch. Um, yeah, we can't. We looks like we can't go down to the haunted stream. So we might be able to do a little bit of it, but yeah, we're about to try and get out here and set the awnings up because this is really quite treacherous. I might be able to get the camera out in a second. Lunch is pretty much finished. We're just trying to work out where we're going to go. Right. Now we were supposed to have pies and things, but Dave's travel buddy. Sorted out the wire up and sort of melted it a bit, so it's not working. So we've resulted to Richard's kicker uh, oven that should work, work. So that's working now. So yeah, it's just started to rain again. Yeah, we had um, Richard's awning out 270, which was quite good, really handy. Yeah, so I think I'm about to put this away. But yeah, the clouds are starting to get pretty dark over there. The temperature's been getting quite cold. Yeah, so we'll see what happens next.
second. Yeah. We have arrived at camp, you can't really see much, it's pretty dark, but yeah, we spent most of the day driving. We didn't get too far, we got stuck behind some roadworks, but yeah, this is not the best campsite, but it, it'll do for the night. Yeah, and the plan tomorrow is to go to the Bucking Caves, and that will most likely be in a separate video, if there is any done, so yeah. Tonight should be alright, probably be an early one I'm guessing because we had a long day because towards the end of the day we didn't really end up doing much, we sort of just drove around and didn't really do anything interesting but yeah, see what happens tomorrow. Morning guys, we are packing up now and we are going to, I think, head to Jackson's Crossing today on the other side of Bucken. But before that, we'll go to the Bucken Caves and we'll head over to Jackson's Crossing, which is only about half an hour, I think, away from Bucken. So that should be good. Don't know how deep the crossing will be, but I know it's a pretty long one, so it should be interesting. Yeah, it wasn't too bad last night. It wasn't too cold. No rain, but yeah, we'll see what happens. Hopefully, today's a bit better than yesterday. Should be. Oh yeah. Yeah. Got Richard cooking some stuff down there. And he was using hand, just doing certain areas, handheld mower. I'll be getting my cereal shortly. There was two, there was a big one with, um, yeah. the mowers. Yeah. And there's about 20 litre and there's a small little one, 5 litre one. Which had so we've got Richard in his door. double story oh. and of course, um, oh, house. We've got I'll just use this one. Dave in his <laughs> Zenpire oh, blow up tent. <laughs> which is interesting. We've got Dad and I in your trusty RV5 Oz tent. we got Bernard in his three-man high country tent. Yeah, done all right.
So we've just come across Jackson's Crossing. Uh, I'm about to film my guys come across, Dave and Bernard. It's quite big actually. So we'll see what we can do. Capture them. We found a campsite on the Jackson River. Um, yeah, it's better than last night. Yeah, Dave and Christopher are just coming down. Yeah. I should get the drone up, finally. Yeah, we'll get everything all set up and we'll have some roast tonight cook it up and that should be good
So this is the roast that Dave is cooking for us tonight. It's going really well. Should be quite nice. Yeah, I don't know when it'll be ready, but it could be ready soon. Yeah, it's cooking nicely. Yeah, we'll get it all sorted. Should be quite nice. The fire's going quite well. Got some nice coals in there. We'll see how it turns out. It's the next day. We're packing up some things today. We're not sure exactly what's going to happen. Whether we stay here for the day or not. Yeah, we'll see. We're heading home tomorrow. Yeah. Didn't rain much last night. It did get fairly cold though. We had to roar the fire up. Yeah. It was a good night. And whatever we do today, I'm not sure. Yeah. This is the Snowy River, not far from camp, just a walk down and there's a bit of a sandbar here which we call the beach. It's a nice little spot. We've come down this little track towards Hicks Campground. We decided to stay at camp today. Um, yeah, we come for a little bit of a drive. And we found this little spot here. So we're not sure what we might find today. Just been exploring. Pretty interesting, I think. We might be going down to the creek now if we can find our way to it. Might be pretty interesting. Dark side. So, now he's just so tonight for dinner, we are having <laughs> spaghetti. The guys are having another fight, as they usually do, <laughs> against some sort of issue. Yeah. So it should be tasty tonight. Yeah. That continuous bickering. And arguing. <laughs> but it's always funny. Yeah, it should be good. Richard's getting his meal sorted. He'll be cooking that up. Got another nice fire today. The others floated down the river back to camp. Yeah, it should be 
good nice evening not too hot not too cold and don't forget Philip broke the spaghetti in half Chris. So Dave has cooked us some damper tonight on the fire in the camp oven. It looks quite good. A little bit burnt on the outsides, but that shouldn't be too bad. Hopefully it tastes good. Didn't take too long to cook. Jeez, I missed my wife. Yeah. <laughs> you got Richard being silly in the background. <laughs> Don't worry about that. It's just the usual stuff. It's the last morning today, we're heading home. Uh, yeah, it's gotten quite foggy this morning. Fairly cold. So yeah, we'll head up and across the Jackson's Crossing again. And we'll head back up the track. Which might be a bit tricky going up this time. I was never but that we'll close see that. You know, he, they were, they got how it's turns out I don't know grade 6 form 1 however old you are now oh. and, um, it's the earliest Dave's ever gotten, gotten up on a trip so today you know, he, I'm which is a change Okay.